All right, let's do us some robot time. So here's my first video review. I'm excited. Are you excited? I'm excited. We've got animated RC. I finally got a hold of this beauty here. This lovely piece of plastic was a little harder to find than most of the other ones. After scouring Toys R Us for months, I finally broke down and got it online. So it's fair to say that I spent a little too much on it. She's a gorgeous figure, totally what you'd be expecting for an RC. She's looking very Generation 1 as the animated tend to. It's a pretty figure. I'm really digging this design. I love the wings on there. Yes, she is a cute little flying car. So if for some reason you don't like the wings, you can just take them right off. Look at that. But why would you want to? It makes her look naked. They don't really like the wings in robot mode very much. So uh, yeah. Of course, back here, we've got our weapon storage. They do fit all the way in, nice and snug, not gonna fall out. And they're a little bit of an affair to get in and out because they stop right there and they stop right there. You've gotta twist and pull them out. So then you're left with swords of the twin choppy variety, which is awesome. Let's take a look at robot mode, shall we? I mean, what else can I say about car mode? It's a car, it rolls, it looks pretty. Let's move on, shall we? The transformation is quick, which I like. A lot of the animated figures are nice and quick like this. It takes all of, you know, 20 seconds to transform. This is a great robot mode. So here we have RC, and she looks awesome. I wasn't too thrilled with it the first time I saw it. I was really worried about the leg cavities here, because the first time I saw it, it was like that. And I was like, ooh. And then I saw it closed up, and I was still like, ooh. But now that I have it in person, I don't mind it so much. My figure had a few imperfections right out of the box, which irritated me to no end. I have a little bit of a paint scuff going on here, but eh, quality control. The main thing that really irks me is that, so, this leg, nice and flush, right? This leg, no way in hell. I'm gonna have to freaking carve part of that off just so that it'll sit flush? Oh, that's irritating. If you desire, you can still have the wings in there. But I think that looks kind of goofy, so I'm going to take them off again. Of course, she's got the rad, I ain't taking no crap from no one swords. Gotta love those. I worry about putting these swords in because the handles are so freaking big. And the hands are so small. And right out of the package, there was a stress mark. Ugh. Carefully, carefully. Oh my god. So here we've got RC with her swords. She looks pretty awesome if you ask me. Highly articulate. It moves in all the ways you're going to want it to, which is great. It even has a little bit of a waist joint, but it's above the waist and below the boob there. So that's a little weird. And the ball jointed head is always a plus. She is a little back heavy because of all this stuff here. Even more so when you put in these damn fins. Because of her stance, the way she curves, it's not really an issue, but she's a lot of fun. If you haven't gotten a chance to pick up Animated RC yet, I highly recommend you do so. Assuming you can pay less than about 15 American for it. Yeah. It's a good figure, but it's not mind-blowing. I'm glad I didn't pay the $30 that the scalpers were trying to get for it originally. Final thoughts? I like this figure. Definitely could have used a little bit more paint app love. If you like the animated line so far, I definitely recommend picking this one up. Alright, so this has been my first review, and it was probably the worst thing you've ever seen. Hope not, because I got more on the way. Thanks.